New at five, they are the champs. And they're back home now. The South Suburban College men's basketball team completed an historic season with a national championship. And WGN's Patrick Elwood spoke with some of the players and has more. The perfect season for South Suburban has just become a national championship. Right here in Chicago's backyard, there's none better. Congratulations on being the champs. Thanks, Pat. Thank Appreciate you. that. Thank you. Thank you. The South Suburban College Bulldogs just brought home the title in the National Junior Athletic Association Division II Tourney. They were just special offensively and defensively. Head coach John Pigotti tells me once his players bought into the system of his and had accountability for each other, he knew they were a force to be reckoned with, to say the least. But they only won by one point to advance into the playoffs. I think our guys thought they were holier than thou and uh, didn't come out with the uh, same intensity in the second half, but we survived. And then I think they, after they set a school record, my program's record for the most uh, mistakes on a dub tape after that game. And uh, I think they realized at that particular time that, uh, you know, if they clean this stuff up, they could be, have a special run down in Danville at the national tournament. And that's what they did. In the end, though, the Bulldogs went undefeated 33 and 0 this magical season. Freshman guard DeMarco Minor was a standout at Thornton High School. Feels good. <laughs> Feel real good. Miner was named the tournament MVP. I tried to go into the game as if it was just the same game as the 32 we had before that. Not treat it too big or treat it any less of what it was. Just listen to Coach X and O's. Whatever he tell us, execute the offensive game plan, defensive game plan, we was going to come out victorious. Like right there beside him, now and throughout the season, is Cameron Donaldlin, a West Aurora High grad who made the all-tournament team as well. Cameron started college playing football in Wyoming, but his true love of basketball drew him back to the game. Like We knew that we just had to come out there and play our hardest. Takes the three. That one's good, and he hits it wow. in the chance. Terry Wells, who's been with South Suburban a long time, but only board chair for the last three months. I mean, listen, it ain't the lottery or what? Pat, I try to tell him it's not that easy. <laughs> okay? It's not that easy. He tells me it's great to be the champs, but these young men of today on the court will be the leaders of the community one day off. But in the meantime, enjoy the moment. I want these young men to just, you know, save for the moment. I mean, you've, you've done something that's never been done before. Enjoy it. Enjoy it because maybe, uh, as I told them earlier, outside of maybe graduating from college and, and getting married, this is probably going to be the biggest thing that's ever happened in their lives. The Bulldogs beat Davidson Davy Community College 79 to 63 in Danville this past Saturday, entering the tournament as the top seed and the first national champs in school history, playing out before their fans and family. That was an amazing moment, just seeing my family there out there. We won. And a dog pile ensues on the floor. Are you on your victory tour now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just enjoying the moment day by day. Just being grateful that we just in this position to just be national champ. Patrick Elwood, WGN News.